of all, my argument isn't racist because everyone else is basically in and set the setting in African, Canaanite, Phoenician, Babylonian, Greco-Roman sort of spirit that's morphed into the European empire. So how do we get to this point where it's obvious that I'm right and people are playing stupid? Well, first of all, some people would argue that colonialism wasn't evil. Some people are neoplatonists, which is immoral relativists, and they argue only in certain cultural contexts are those are morals valid. So they, they kind of respect people's culture more than the idea of what morals are. So in, in that culture, it's okay to rape kids. It's okay to steal. So that there, you know, your morals doesn't apply to that versus universal morals, which is my belief, what I know to be true. So basically, the Romans tricked the Sabines into coming to a sport event of some kind, and they killed the men, they raped the women, the men, the, the, the few survivors kind of went back, they rallied the other guys, they fought against them and lost. This is the archetype of the Western colonial model. Okay, This isn't an insignificant event. There's paintings and poems and statues about the rape of the Sabines. This is very significant in Greco-Roman mythology, in Roman history, in human history. They used this model to go around and they raped the various groups that they called barbarians. After they civilized Europe, quote unquote, okay, the Europeans were basically like Roman senators who were playing a game of global conquest. And they went around calling people savages, which is like calling them barbarians. Okay? And they raped their women. Okay, we have the tale of Pocahontas and stuff. They, they twist and make it seem like a love story or something. And they killed the men. And they slaughtered them. And they slaughtered them. And they raped and they raped. They went around giving them diseases, smallpox, lace blankets, and AIDS, which just happens to be a word, a play on words for die A and uh, AIDs. Okay? and so on and so forth, and who gets aid and who doesn't, based on who conforms to the Phoenician, Canaanite, LGBT hate group, Greco-Roman, Babylonian, Sedian, African model. Okay? In Egypt, Set was the deity of evil. So when people were complaining about evil, you better believe Set was the bell that rings the loudest. Set and Apep, the ancient serpent, the devil, the dragon, Thra, Gon, Di, Ra, Gon. Okay? So they went around the world abusing people. Okay? And Obviously, their churches are wrong. All, all, all the people are playing stupid, pretending to be in their cultures at times when crypto-Roman, Judeo-Roman types of people, the ones who betray God and the Bible, Baalist, are, the, are their social orders. The African-American social order is handpicked by the globalists. The, the African social order, the Native American, the Hispanic, there isn't a social order on the planet that isn't global, corporate, handpicked. And they will go there and kill people and rape them and coerce them and kidnap them, so on and so forth. And those who don't put God first play stupid. That's where we are, I promise you. Okay. Are you prepared to accept a religious leader anointed by God who has proven true spiritual power and not a satanic gimmick? One might argue the meaning of scripture, but they cannot argue against pinpointed justice. The Bible, therefore, is inferior to pinpointed justice. In Isaiah, God looks for righteousness and justice, not who is arguing scripture the best, but who has pinpointed righteousness and justice. Proverbs 8, wisdom walks in the way of righteousness along the paths of justice, and it, wisdom calls for people to be prudent and insightful and have spiritual power. In Psalms, the children of the righteous are mighty. The children of the upright are mighty. Okay? So if one is wise and righteous, their children will be mighty to stand firm, Matthew 10, 22, and serve God. You know them by their fruits. If they're raised in conformance, they worship the devil and they're conforming to the world. If they raise those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Thus, part of the reason my parents are blameless and part of the reason why you're an idiot if you don't know that I'm God's son. Selfishness, excuse me, selflessness, selflessness, and moral supremacy are of God. Those who say, hey, who is morally supreme? If you do not submit to God and me and obey God and give me my right to leave, I'm not going to date you because I'm a moral supremacist. If you date based on social status, I don't respect you. You're a whore to me, just like in the Bible. You're prostituting yourself. You're wicked. You're prostituting yourself to false idols. I can't respect you. Because I'm a moral supremacist, not a white supremacist, not a fake Christian supremacist, not a, a, a LGBT supremacist, not a feminist. I'm a moral supremacist. Those who are moral are supreme to me. 
social norm fanaticism and worldly social status fanaticism are selfishness, cowardice, shallowness, naivety, and evil. You miss the point of life. The first thing, number one, is A, meaning alpha, alphabet. You bet against God because you're a selfish fucking coward. Okay? It's that simple.